Hello everyone, greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on Agile software, Agile Tester Extension Certification. We are in the chapter 3 and we'll be continuing uh, further with the next topic that is 3.2 in that we are yet to do the second uh, session of the same that is estimating test effort based on content and risk. So let's understand how estimation can be done in Agile projects and how that could be useful to determine certain areas. Estimation of the testing efforts generally deals with determining that how much time, cost and effort is required for any activity which is conducted as a part of the testing. So generally when you talk about estimating the test efforts uh, based on the content, there are different approaches which can be utilized in Agile. So we have few of the things which are mentioned here that is like planning poker, which is a consensus based technique where the product owner or the customer reads the story to the estimators and each estimator would have a deck of card which would have some different numbers or also could be similar to Fib Fibonacci series where these numbers only represent that what is the worth or the reference in terms of the number of days story points what do you think being an estimator that this task would require to be applied so each activity each task when it is narrated each estimator from the team will give a score to that activity that as per me the story point is something like 15 and the other estimator have all choice to give their own suggestion that no it's not 15 it could be more than that like 20 so it could be any kind of you know sequence of numbers which uh, internally organization can use but the ultimate thing is to come up with the common understanding that what could be the number of hours or effort would be required to do this activity on time so these values generally represent what weightage does this effort require to do this activity so highest estimates would have a further decision and obviously internal discussion to be done following that which would help everyone to be considered together that this is what the final number of us which we would be requiring to do this job and of course uh, the other people have to justify that why do you think your score is low and why your score is high so that other people can you know get through the mind mapping process mind mapping process which could uh, leads to understanding of everyone Beyond that, of course, uh, we have the entire approach uh, determined here. The estimators discuss the feature, ask questions of the product owner as needed, like what exactly is the detail of it. Because maybe when you're determining the effort required for any activity, that could be possibly uh, less if you don't understand the exact task. Or maybe it could be more if you misunderstand the task and that would be beyond the expectations and could lead to delays in the life cycle. So, it should be having a window, open window for everyone to have a cross question with the product owner to understand what exactly is the task all about and how it's, we, we are going to entertain such things put together. Therefore, it is advisable to include the risk level as well into the discussion because if a task includes any kind of risk involved with that, then possibility is that we would require more time to do the same. So it could be questioned, it could be understood, and based on that, each estimator can, uh, you know, explain their number of hours or effort, what they want to justify. All cards are then revealed at the same time. If all estimates selected the same value, that becomes the estimate. If not, the estimators discuss, so the approach follows that why do you think it is lost what is that so if we will check the we will take the average of the all the estimators uh, input and then we will just close the uh, task estimation further uh, this discussion ensure reliable estimate of the effort needed to complete product backlog items requested by the product order and help improve collective uh, knowledge what has to be done so it's all about the understanding the way, the method, how the estimation and the testing effort is calculated. And there are different ways. It's not limited to uh, poker card or those kind of methods. You can have your internal standards as well to do that. It's just important that everyone contributes and understands and good questionnaire happens or discussion happens between the team so that they come to a common conclusion. So that's all from here, team. Uh, we'll be coming back with another 
tutorial on this topic. We have one more segment to go ahead from this chapter and we'll be done with the series. So please stay tuned for upcoming tutorials and till then keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding, happy learning.